So we're in our bathroom. Yeah, we got some stuff to do in here. We've been living out of boxes, including in the bathroom. So today we're gonna to show you where we do our repurposed hutch that we did, and we're gonna finish up projects and tidy up the bedroom. So follow along as we work in our master bathroom. All right, so as you can see, we've got some loose ends to tie up. The whole house is like this. We moved in, you know, it looked good for the appraiser, good enough, and we needed to get out of the other house, so we just moved. And we've got a lot of little unfinished things, but we're starting to slowly get to them. I'm going to just nail this up right there because my plumbing's back behind. So I'm just, I'm not going to put like real serious nails. I just want to tack it in. But I need to leave it so that the other drawer can still slide. Okay. All right, I like that. Okay, now if I need to, I just have four little 18 gauge nails I can pull out if I gotta get into the plumbing or anything like that. I'm gonna do the same up here. This one, I think doesn't matter as much because I'm never gonna stick my hand, I can't even get my whole arm in there. It has some of Jamie's stuff down in here. I guess it's my stuff too. You know, all the things that you keep in a bathroom when you have eight people living in the house. It's kind of trying to snow. The garage is still full. So we're on the front porch. We're going to sand this up. Don't pretend like we don't sand on the front porch all the time. Well, you do. You're like, hey, we got this nice covered porch. I'm going to sand out here. Heck yeah. All right. So I'm going to get this done. It's already kind of like chippy, but I just want to even it out. All right, so I'm just using DIY white wax over the top of my paint here. I'll have Zeb throw some footage from our lives so you can see this piece coming to life. I think he took a before picture. I do have a before picture. Um, and we were going for old barn cabinet. A lot of people were like, you gotta leave the glass in. I don't wanna see what's in there. And just so y'all know, I'm not painting the inside. So I'm sorry, I just don't care. Once it's full of stuff, you won't see much of the inside. <laughs> That's a good wax technique on that brush. It's like real serious here. You just, just buffing get it, it in. in there. Well, it's always hard. Like I may, it's always easier with the little stencil brushes to get down on the detail. But sometimes you just gotta don't have time to find another brush. Long. It is long. So this is the area where we have measured to fit the cabinet. Hopefully our measurements were correct. Once we slide it in, I'm going to touch up the baseboards, but just where you can see them. All right, Zeb's bear hugging it. You're so strong. I know. <laughs> and modest. All right, so there's already a hole in the back, right? So we cut out the light, then we can run the electric cord through there, like the extension cord. The whole thing just slides out. For shame, we didn't paint the back. <laughs> we also didn't paint the top. <laughs> Spoiler. Do those adjust or those are just what they are? These are where they're at. I feel like that's fine. I mean, I could probably drill more holes in here. We need to get the little vacuum. The vacuum you know what I was thinking? I think I want to see if I can fit a garbage can in one of the sides of the buffet because I don't love the garbage can over there. Okay. All right, just need to make a little hole where that other light situation was coming out, and I'm gonna put a power strip in here. So I finished white waxing this outside. Now I'm just gonna buff it off. That's all I'm gonna do for protection on this piece. Um, the milk paint itself has bond in it, so it'll be fine. I'm just using a lint-free rag. Well, actually, probably has lint on it. I don't know. Just using a washcloth. I'm just wiping back excess wax and buffing the wax that's there. We've been hanging the towels over the water closet door. And it's time to not hang them there. Oh no, I can't remember which one. Did we say here? I think we said here, right? What? No, above there. This there. side? Yeah. 
Okay. But not super close to the edge. I'm not so going to go... Because you don't want to block the tram or the towel. I mean, it's kind of close, but it won't cover it, I don't yeah. think. So Zeb's using the hotel hooks. They are available at jrvhome.com, and they are cast iron, which is awesome because they're durable. And black, which works we, in my colors. We too. need durable and stuff that doesn't get dirty. Yep. Well, we, can't, we can't say they won't get dirty. I mean, who knows? Well, like, if you get it dirty, you can wipe it off, right? Yeah, exactly. Tile is all complete, so I can now caulk where I need to, seal we everything up. We still need to like repaint the ceiling. We'll do that on another video. <laughs> eh, it doesn't really need repainted. There's like a couple little spots. No, it's black from, from black route. <laughs> okay. One hook. Yeah. I, I, vote, I vote two hooks. I mean, we, I could switch it up to one. It doesn't really show with that, the holes in the middle. What do you think? I feel like one. I think two hooks is fine. But it just looks weird to have like... But what if I have a robe or something I want to hang? You don't have a robe, but all right, there you go. But what if I get a robe? That just looks weird. I could put it in the center, but... Uh, it feels weird to only have four, two towels hanging. All right, well, four towels is too many. So they're too poofy. You got a bonus hook. I can hang my keys there. I don't know. It's good. There we go. Done. I'm happy to have any hook, so this is good. If we find something I want to put behind it or change it, we're good for now. All right. Time doing? to stop living out of the fruit box from Costco. Hey, it's it's served a really good purpose for the last month. <laughs> I'm All I'm doing is I'm just taking out back stock. So I don't know about you guys, but I hate to run out of stuff. So we have extra things like razors. Um, that we keep in this bag here. We actually have them on auto ship from Amazon. Deodorant that we get at Costco. So I'm just putting all the back stock in here and then I'm gonna organize the buffet to have all the things we use regularly and then we can just restock from here. See why we didn't wanna see through this? Like this is gonna have cords and stuff in there. It's not gonna be pretty. It's gonna keep everything off the countertop. Zeb is really particular. He does not like to run out of shaving cream. I got sensitive skin. It's gonna look basically like a store shelf. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so you want it right over here, centered on the wall no, with the top. I was thinking over by the door. More over by the yeah. door, because the, the door, door doesn't really open all the way. Well, because the tub's in there. Because the tub is there, so. <laughs> Hope that was the right spot. I went for it. all the doors are going to be black. I've been slowly making my way through. This door got sanded and prepped before we even like painted in here. You can see the white overspray and I'm just giving it a little black dress. This will dry completely and then I'll put on black wax and then buff it. It gives it a really great dark black look that's not shiny and I will probably switch out the knob for a glass knob so that way it matches the other door. Okay, so much debated. We are hanging curtains over this window. Gorgeous view out there, by the way. Um, and we're gonna be doing velvet. So we'll get them hung up. Eventually, I will spray them with a product called Never Wet, and then we'll help them be water resistant, and then we'll just wash them. Eventually. Eventually. Da -da -da! Oh man, it's a tight fit. Bang it. I am gonna just bang it. <laughs> okay, so curtains are up. We're now deciding where the art goes. I would say go down another. You want the hot faucet to hide it? No, like line it up with a, like, yeah, that's good right there. And I think eventually I might put a little piece on each side of the faucet, but for now we're gonna hang it up there. This is the Jamie cam. I'm working on this area. Can you see I got my cleaning products there? I'm not a huge bathroom decorator, okay? So minimal. I just wanted something in between these two mirrors. So this is just a found pedestal and then a great small copper pot. We carry those on the website and an Ikea plant. So I feel like this actually ties in this cabinet over here that I wasn't loving because the bluish green brings that color in. So I'm hoping once we get the rug down and the art up, it all has a theme and I can live with that cabinet till I find something bigger. 
Maybe we should leave the caulking gun up there. It's a really nice touch. <laughs> We're committed because Zeb has put screws in the shiplap. Right in the middle, not even in the I, crease. I prefer crack shiplap, but whatever. It's a little crooked. <laughs> Don't you fret. One of the things that I like to do that I don't have, but they have like this little like stick them that doesn't ruin your walls. And I like to put it on the bottom of my artwork to keep it straight. So I'll have to get some of that. But that is amazing. Like that? Yeah. Well, no, just at the bottom. So it doesn't get crooked. The other thing about this, Seb is going to drop a little video of us making it. That's decoupage paper, right? Not priceless art. So we're probably maybe 20 bucks into that piece. So if it doesn't survive humidity, I'm not going to be crying inside. The only thing about freestanding tubs that I don't love is just there's nowhere to put stuff. I know that they have trays across it, but I don't really love that. I found this table. It's actually one that we sell. Um, it's out of stock a lot, but I'll have Zep drop a link there. And then I love to have bath bombs. These are something we carry in the shop, so I bring them from there. And then I buy shampoo by the gallon, so I like to put mine in these cute little pump jars so I don't have like a gallon next to the tub. But you want to have somewhere to put your stuff so it's close at hand and it's not falling into the tub. Rug time. Let's show the back of this rug. So. so here's the back of it. It's got this fun rubbery little texture to keep it from slipping around. Not a super high nap. It's like, it feels like velvet. It's like butter, but it's actually polyester, which makes it affordable. Which way are we running it's this? It's going to go this way. I think it needs to go the other way. Oh, you think it needs to go the other way? Okay. Yeah. All right. Hopefully it fits. You can slide under the tub though. I can. I can move that tub. So we have not. I rolled it the wrong way. <laughs> Usually they come rolled wrong side out. This one's opposite. This one wanted you to see the beauty. That All is right. so pretty. It looks like a Persian rug. It's got a little bit of sheen, but it's not, which is great because I don't have a thousand dollars for a bathroom rug. Look how hard it is to move this tub. You are so strong, Sam. It's great. <laughs> It doesn't actually move around, especially when you're in it, but if you need to move it, you can. It has things you can bolt it down with, but I left it freestanding because, you know, we got to do stuff like put rugs under things. I mean, that's important. Oh, it's got to come back. All right, so we are in our expansive shower. We've got Zeb side. You can see this is his mirror because I can't even see myself in it, just my bun. We've got these cool little alcoves where we put our stuff in there. And then over here, I buy, like I said, I buy shampoo by the gallon. So that's mostly what we use the bench for. But this works out really well. In fact, the boys like to shower in here, so they have wars with them. So the sheet picture was here when we first set this room up. And it was great but Jamie liked these flowers better and these were on the way. They just hadn't arrived yet, so the sheep picture was a placeholder. Bench has moved out of the way. Ceiling fan is up. Time to put the rug in. Let's see if I can roll this out under here. Might have to move those nightstands out of the way over to the side, but I think I can do this. I might grab Odelia to come help me. Jamie had to go run some errands. All right, so I think the way we're gonna do this is I'm gonna roll it around this way. We'll put it under that foot and under the foot over there. I'll raise the bed up while Odelia works it in. And then we'll roll the rug out, lift this end of the bed up, and then roll it the rest of the way out. Here, push that all the way up to the edge of the bed. Wait, crawl under there, there's an M&M. &M. Where? Staying even. Okay, I'm gonna lift the end of the bed up and I need you to roll this over. Can you roll it? Mm -hmm. Wait, Dad, it's... Are you still under there? Did you just shimmy over the side? No. <laughs> okay. All right, there you go. Is it under? 
here. Mm -hmm. Hey, come back down. So the bathroom is done-ish. Done-ish. Always things that I think I'm going to change over time, but for the current situation, I like it. So the rug is a little large for the area. A round rug would be preferable, but she couldn't find a round rug she loved. And here's the thing, every bathroom is going to be different, so you kind of just have to work with what you've got. I love the colors in here. Everybody kept saying like, black and white, black and white, it's going to be kind of sterile, but it's the perfect backdrop to any design. Like I can bring in farmhouse, I can bring in boho, I can transition later to something else. And that's what I love about a classic neutral palette. You can really add some great stuff. And the rug ties everything together. We are gonna link below the products that we've used in this room at, from jrvhome.com. The paint and sealers are from jamierayvintage.com. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to Jamie Ray Vintage for more. DIY. Call me out, tiger. Call me out, don't you? Lift me up higher above the clouds, won't you love? When the scenery is right, go right in. I want to fall deep within. Don't leave me hanging just because I'm too proud. Whisper away. My outdated doubts Somebody do me the courtesy Dress me down I'm not that old yet I'm far too young To not stand my ground But my ways are mine